previously on the channel. We're going to be prepping the Corvette for engine bay paint and interior paint as well. And those are the last two things that need to be painted before we can start assembling her all back together and putting all the fresh new shiny parts in this car that will be arriving over the next few weeks. But we're almost there. We're almost through paint, you guys. Now I'm still contemplating what color I'm actually going to be painting the engine bay and interior. I want them to be the same. Um, and that same color, I'll probably make the wheel color as well just to pull it from the inside to the outside. And right now, I know this may sound crazy, but right now, I'm thinking I want to paint it white. I know, I know, people freak out when you say that, but I really think white is what's gonna make everything else pop on this car. And that means I could do white wheels as well, maybe with like a, a colored spoke, like neon purple spoke in the front, neon yellow in the back. I don't know, I might change my decision last minute, but right now that's what I'm set on, white with a ton of prism flake. And for the inside, I'd be doing everything white. I have a carbon fiber dash that is coming. Um, my roll cage, however, <laughs> is going to need a lot of prep because it's just been raw for a while now. So there's surface rust in a lot of areas. The interior, I think it'd be just fine being white. You know, maybe in some of the high impact areas, I put down some PPF. Boom, my white stays crispy all season long. And for the cage though, I wanna do the cage neon yellow. So imagine it y'all, everything's gonna be white, the cage is gonna be neon yellow. I think that'll also bring my favorite color in the world that's in the front of the car. It's gonna bring some of that neon yellow to the center of the car where it's mostly pink and kind of disperse that color more. I know doing the cage a different color is going to make this job like 10 times harder, but you guys, aesthetics matter to me. You can put just as much effort into your driving and on track skill as you do how your car looks, you know? Why can't you do both? I know people give me crap about that all the time and I'm like, I'm sorry that just because you don't have style to express, that means I should suppress mine as well. It just, I'm sorry, but anyway, aesthetics matter to me, as you guys probably know now, and I think it's gonna be worth putting more effort in to get that cage neon yellow. I am still waiting on a bunch of parts to actually put this car back together, so why not make her beautiful? Yes, it's a drift car. Drift cars can have style too. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off these beautiful, beautiful fenders. We're gonna take the bumper off and the hood, get that stored away in my shop, and also take off this top here, and then everything else we're just gonna end up taping up. This halo piece also comes off. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. off of the front of the car and the first thing we are going to do is pressure wash this girl so we're gonna go over once pressure washing it and then the old secret to cleaning engine bays is stove cleaner now I've actually never used this brand before I sent Chris to get stove cleaner and this is the one that he found but this looks more intense it says heavy-duty so maybe this one was better one in the past that I've used is like the squirt one with the black top um, so Hopefully this one works. It says cleans three times faster. We're gonna do this part outside and then once this is clean, 
push it inside into the prep room to start all of the sanding prep. And that's where we're going to be prepping the interior as well and gutting all of this too. Because if you look, I have yet to fully gut everything behind this dash. And we're gonna be doing that this time because it's a full blown race car now. I don't need radio, I don't need AC, I don't need any of that. So we're gonna be doing that inside the prep room as well. But first, we're gonna play with some stove cleaner. Spell your name, see if you can spell your name. I don't know if you can do it. There you go. Uh, she's all right. I spell out my name. Nah. Uh, I can drift my name, I can spell out my name. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all loops. Do before photo. I never do those. I know. I forget to. I never too. do before photos, and I'm like, damn, that would have been really cool if I would have done a before photo. Yeah. Boom. We got it this time. Wait. Before. Landscape. Before. Maybe you know, if we want to get spicy, make a TikTok. We'll do a little vertical video. Oh my gosh. She's going the extra mile for y'all. Stuff that you got works. It will you got work. Some brand I've never heard of, but it does say heavy duty it's on it, and e it looks like it should be more intense. So it's if this doesn't work, you guys blame Jay Jedi. No, it's called Easy Off. It'll come off easy. Okay. Hey, Optimism. Realism. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. You're the worst, bro. Bro, what type of spray nozzle is this? Girl, she's from Dollar General. <laughs> wear a mask for this. <laughs> Pretend I have one on. It should work. So the stuff worked okay. I think the OG kind with the black top, and I think it has red in the name. Whatever one I used last time, I feel like worked a lot better, so. It, it worked pretty good though, but. We don't have to go too, too crazy right now because once we push this into the prep room, I'm gonna be disassembling some more pieces and sanding everything, and it will need one last kind of like wipe down or wash down so on that last one more stuff will be removed and we can wash it again if we really really need to but just before pushing it in there it's never been cleaned before so i wanted to at least do something it is 
the next day. We're just going to see how far we can get with prepping that car today. It's gonna be a mixture of like gutting the engine bay, just getting everything out of there. Um, and we're gonna start gutting the inside of the car. Finally, the seats and all the other necessary stuff that I told you guys about um, that we don't need. But before I head to the shop, um, can we appreciate how bougie Rally looks right now on her new little pet couch? Her pet sun lounge. This is fake fur. This is actually a blanket that I made with my mom a long time ago when I thought I wanted to start a pet blanket company. It was gonna be called Cuddles for Pets. And I still actually have like a hundred of these. So you never know, maybe I'll uh, relaunch the brand, Cuddles for Pets. It was buy one, give one to a pet in a shelter. Um, yeah, anyway, Rally, such a nice lounge you have. You're so pretty. <laughs> so this is their sun lounge, and they're so spoiled. They have beds everywhere. And then this is their awesome customized bed that Duarte got. Duarte and Lynn got for them. It says Pete and Rally on it. I would bring you guys, but you guys don't want to be in a prep room all day. Goodbye. Okay, now I go to work. I got pretty big news yesterday, and that is that my engine from Texas Speed is done. It's officially done. It is wrapped up and it's going to be shipped out to me on Monday. So we got to put it work. We got to put it in work right now. We got to do that engine bay prepped, painted the interior as well. So that when that engine gets here next week, we can drop it in and see what it looks like. I'm so stoked. <laughs> here she is. moving on to the inside of the Corvette. I'm going to be removing the dash because I'm getting a new carbon fiber one and like I said, basically deleting every single thing underneath that. And then from underneath the dash, I'll be able to get the booster out, get the rest of the column out, and I'm deleting AC so I can get those lines off as well. But that's pretty much all that I can do for now anyway for the engine bay. And it's looking good, it's just really, really dirty, but like all the plastic clips that are everywhere, any bolts, nuts have been taken off. But this, this is a pretty good point now for the bay. 
I already took the seats out. Seats are over here. I've never taken out a dash in a Corvette, but this one is pretty much cracked all over the place and I don't need it. It's not like just in good condition or anything, so I'm not gonna feel that bad kind of just ripping it out of there. Now, I don't know exactly when my carbon fiber one will be here, but it should be pretty soon, because I do believe it was shipped, so I'm not too worried about that either. So I'm probably gonna start taking the wheel off, then take the entire dash out, which will give me access to everything. And I'll also be deleting like literally everything, guys, like all the fuse boxes, all the wiring too, that actually goes to the door, because I'm redoing everything. I have a brand new fresh engine harness and a brand new fresh chassis harness as well that Chris from Drift HQ just built and is finalizing right now, so. All of this stuff is gonna go by. Dash is being like the definition of the biggest pain in the butt ever. I think I'm almost there. I don't know where it's attached at. I got the center screws. I looked all underneath, all underneath on this side. Literally, it should have come out like half an hour ago and I'm still just like chucking away, just breaking things as I go because I don't know what else to try. So hopefully this is it. Um, Hopefully it's actually gonna come out now. It's attached somewhere over there and I can't figure it out. Oh man, this is a mess. Uh, but I finally got the other side of the dash out. Definitely wasn't pretty, but it's out, so. All right, here we are. Still try a ways to go, but at least I can see everything now, and it'll be a lot easier to access everything and see what's going on. We are getting rid of all of this. All of this is no longer needed. The bashing there at the end was definitely not necessary, but I was listening to Toxic by Ash Nido, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna let out some energy. I'm gonna get my workout in and work on the car all at once. So that's what that was. <laughs> um, here is the update. Um, making progress. We're almost about to have this giant harness out, which is sick. This has been the harness that's been stuck in the car that I cut when we were dropping everything forever ago and it's just intertwined with everything else here. So I'm about to be able to get that free. And right now I'm just working on um, heater, AC ducting and getting that big piece out. Now that I've gotten my therapy in, um, I'm gonna actually look up how to take this out so I just don't keep bashing it. Uh, I was impatient and jamming to a song. So um, yeah, that's what that was. At this point though, I'm going to clean up, sort of reset here. There's a bunch of bolts and screws and now plastic <laughs> everywhere. So I'm gonna clean up first.
vacuum the car up. That ducting is gonna be super annoying since I went all hold smash on it, but whatever, no regrets, it was fun. I think this is actually where I'm going to stop. I've been here all day. I don't know if I'm just working slow or I forgot how to work on cars today or what it is, but I've been here all day long. I'm like scratched everywhere. I am disgusting. I smell like fiberglass, like I have fiberglass all in my nose. I just need to take a shower and restart tomorrow. Um, this is where I'm going to be ending the video. So honestly, I got a majority of this done. I wanna prep both the interior and the engine bay at the same time. So I just wanna get them completely gutted and ready for sanding and prep. I'm gonna be painting the interior and the engine bay at the same time. And I just confirmed with Randy that he's gonna come over and hang out with me and teach me some things when we do that. Randy is super good at painting the interior of race cars and like blocking off and doing the roll cage a different color as well. Um, so right now I'm still leaning on white engine bay with a ton of flake or prism and then white interior full white and then we respray only the cage neon yellow that is the plan right now and i'll probably pair that with some white wheels this is gonna have to go into another video the engine is going to be here in like a week so i need to put in some work and get this girl ready to be put back together that is it for this video, let me know what you think about my color choices. I'm pretty firm on them right now. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bro, I was trying to take a thumbnail. I am disgusting. Bro. This is a new level of low. I just gave... No cares today. It is what it is.